Hello, my friends, and how are we doing? This is going to be a uh, an interesting one, I think. This is another one of those where I get a little speculative and kind of go places with it. But without bearing the lead too much, let's just get right into it. This is posted by Reddit user Destroya. I like reading your stuff. The furry community is not welcoming whatsoever. You can already tell why I started reading this one, can't you? Let's 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 go ahead and flip this rock over, huh? Yeah, I don't think I want any part of this community, but somehow I remain hopeful in finding a normal person. If you don't own a four thousand dollar suit or the four hundred dollar headpiece, you're basically an outcast and not welcomed. If your life isn't 1,000% dedicated to the furry community, you're basically a fake furry. If you're not already part in the small group of friends that is in the community, you are ignored. They're also mega hypocrites. And how do I know this? Well, I posted a drawing of mine of a character in revealing clothing, but not nude. A furry with a diaper fetish called me disgusting and threatened to report me. I have no idea what to say. I'm just astonished that the supposed welcoming community have been nothing but negative to me. I really don't get it. And then there are the RPs. Basically, if it doesn't involve sex, they're not interested. I'm about done with this community. Hell, I met more chill people in the MLP fandom, but that's a story for a different day. <laughs> we'll get to you. In the words of Haha ha Davis, I don't know who that is, I leave the community with this famous quote. Who made you like this? And there's one comment on this that I want to go ahead and point out. Uh, our friend AKBH Writer says, I can't speak on them myself, but there are several reasons Moon Horse has left that community, and all of them make these people look really bad. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I have a history with both of these communities, and it's not a good history. See... Much like, much like our friend here, Destroya, I, as a much younger space unicorn, uh, became a part of this community <laughs> in the attempt of trying to find like-minded individuals and friends because they are constantly touting themselves as being open, open-minded, and eternally friendly. These things are lies. It's not true. The furry community is incredibly cliquish. It's about like going to high school forever. Which, if you know anything about them, that's not surprising. It's also filled with a bunch of really dark, really horrible little pockets. And yeah, we'll touch on those in a bit too. But the overall community, my experience with them has been mostly negative. There's been a lot of people who will talk to you, but only in the sense that they really want to get laid. And if you say no, well, then you might as well just be dead. And the few who aren't like that are also usually really, really stuck up. They expect people to basically worship them. To say that a few, well, more than a few people in this community have a narcissistic god complex is putting it lightly. There are a lot of people who believe that their characters or their creations are somehow the single greatest thing ever made, period. I refer back to our friend Colord44. We are talking about a man who would insert his own characters into drawings that literally other people made without their consent because in his mind this was quote-unquote canon. The reason I tend to focus on them whenever I talk about really strange behavior and really go into the whole furry thing more than anything is because it is a plethora of strange behavior. The weirdest part, a lot of them seem to think this, the weirdest part that people think about them is the fact that they like to wear the suits or draw the art or pretend to be these fuzzy sex monsters that have fuzzy sex monster sex. That ain't it, homie. That may have been it back in 2002, maybe even 1999, but that ain't it now. 
your modern furry community has gotten to the point where they are super open and very inclusive. These are really nice buzzwords for saying we don't like drama. Drama is the end-all be-all for a lot of these people, and drama is also the thing that they very regularly lean on. But, if you were the kind of person to call out someone for being bad, for being toxic, for having a negative influence on other people, for basically being some kind of a monster, and believe me, there's multiple kinds of monsters in this particular group, then suddenly you are ousted and thought of as horrible. Because how dare you point out the child groomer. Yeah, that's a thing, by the way. Remember when I said there were a lot worse and darker little pockets within this whole quote-unquote community? That's what I'm talking about. See, so the furry community has a problem. A problem they're not willing to address, and a problem that is steadily growing day by day. A problem with their all-inclusiveness that they're not willing to really handle. And I understand the point and the appeal of a disassociated group. I do. I mean, all of my groups are pretty disassociated, aside from the fact that you guys seem to like me, but we really don't have anything specific when it comes to rules or behavior. Save for the incredibly obvious, you know, don't be a fucking monster. Pretty simple to figure out. We don't tolerate certain things. But we're also very vocal about the things we don't tolerate. This community is not. See, the furry community likes to say a lot of things, like they don't tolerate people who are animal abusers or child abusers. Or, I mean, let's just pretty... Let's not muddy the waters. They're not animal abusers and child abusers. That's safe language. Let's just call them what they actually are. Dog fuckers and child rapists. Because there are a lot of those. And I am also aware of the fact that some people may see that language as offensive or upsetting or something like that, but this isn't the time to shy away from this. They are. And there are more than one of them. One of them was so popular, he is a popular YouTube channel. In fact, I'm fairly certain he still does. And a lot of his friends are either in jail or have fled the country or the countries they're from because of it. And the reason that I bring this kind of shit up is not simply for shock value, but because that's not that uncommon. A while back, there was a group of people involved in the community who tried their best to oust and ostracize and point out these negative, horrible influences to show that these groups are in fact bad. And that group was deemed toxic and full of drama and therefore ignored. Imagine that. Imagine being a part of a group that has the audacity to say something like pedophiles are bad and you're the bad guy. That's the level we're at. It's only gotten steadily worse as time went on. This idea of total inclusiveness has created an environment in which incredibly toxic people thrive. Which is the reason why this clicky, bullshit, hypocriteness that Destroya was referring to does tend to fucking grow so exponentially. There's no one telling them they need to sit down and shut the fuck up. And even if there is, a lot of times they don't listen. So there was a series that I tried to do with a good friend of mine, Dub Sephiroth, a while back, in which we talked about really insane events. Things that are kind of incredible. He didn't know the story of a bunch of really terrible conventions or parties or things like that that got way out of hand. And one of the episodes was all about a furry convention called Rainforest. A convention that was so horribly destructive because of its terrible, terrible management that it basically ruined any kind of convention anywhere of the same like in that area for the next decade. They rented a hotel... I want to say ballroom, but that's not the right word. You know, one of those big-ass assembly rooms. And the con attendees would be staying at the attached hotel. Not a problem, that's usually how conventions tend to work. 
Except that the management of this one did so little to actually vet or make sure anything of this was safe. So everybody showed up. Your diaper furs, your drug addicts, your absolute fucking monsters. The convention only lasted, I believe, four days, but there were so many reports of overdoses and property damage that it's become legendary. So much so that one of the convention organizers, who still remains nameless to this day, sent a bunch of letters about what went on at this convention to other hotel chains to make sure they wouldn't make the same mistake. That's, again, only one example. There are so many more. There's a bunch of people, usually older people, of the ones that I know of, who are still involved in the fandom and do their best to try and steer people away from being absolute fuckwits. Uh, they're not what I would call the greatest of greats ever, but they're at least giving it their all and they're trying. There's a famous quote in the community that some people know, but a lot of people don't seem to realize, which is, the furry community is its own worst enemy. The inability to recognize your own damaging, toxic behavior, or your ability to simply ignore damaging, toxic behavior, is the reason why this kind of shit exists. The reason people didn't like furries when it started is because it was strange. The reason they don't like you now is because you're sheltering pedophiles and animal abusers. The paradigm has shifted, and it's shifted in a very, very bad way. But since we touched on it lightly, or since Destroya brought it up, I guess I'll uh, touch on that too. <laughs> I mentioned the MLP community, and uh, yeah, they're not much better. They like to claim they're much better, but no, not really. It's the same lines, the same idea of friendship and camaraderie and this idea that no one will ever judge you and everything will be just fine. This too is a lie. It's not. It's not true. In fact, some of their major prominent creators have been ousted for child grooming. Their convention, the one that Chris Chan loves to go to so much, uh, was also... Yeah, one of the security guards was found not to be a pedophile. And their reaction to this was, of course, you know, to fire this man and distance themselves from... <laughs> I'm kidding, they didn't say shit. Yeah, they knew, and then they kind of swept it under the rug because nobody wants to start drama. It's the same thing. Two of the community's most vocal and outspoken members actually went on to say that the people who were abused by one of their fellow creators who was grooming a child on more than one occasion, as in he got caught doing this at least twice. Fuck that guy. Two of their most outspoken creators basically went on to say that the people who were abused and groomed by him needed to just let it go because that's a step towards recovery. You can go fuck yourself with that attitude. Because no. No, don't let it go. Get angry. Get mad. You have every right to get mad. This is a common thought in both of these communities, that any kind of drama needs to be avoided, and any kind of problem needs to just be let go of. No. The reason no one wants to let go of these things is because you have these problems now. You let go of it, you ignored the drama, and said that everything was just a problem that needed to just be pushed away because that's just not how our community operates. Hmm. And that's the reason why your community has fucking problems. That's the reason why your community is festering with this horrible, horrible disease. I never really had to say this until recently because I've never really had a community, but I do now. I have a community of fans, I have a Discord community, and I don't seem to have that problem. And the reason for that is because we're very outspoken on the things we don't like, the things that we find problems with, and people know our stance. If I ask you specifically, a person who's listened to more than one of my videos and knows at least something about this. If you're new to this, sorry that you started on this one, it's pretty angry. But 
if I asked you, someone who knows me, in a sense, what my position on things like child abusers is, you could say, you could say that, no, Moon Horse doesn't like that. In fact, it makes him really fucking angry. You could say the same thing about pedophiles. I don't fucking like them. They make me really fucking angry. And I really think you ought to be hit with something blunt. But that's just me. But if I asked you what the same stance is on these people, on a community of, for example, the furry community, you could say that they don't support these things. You could say that, you know, they believe that these things are bad. But can you honestly say that? Who told you that? Certain members don't like it, but the community as a whole seems to ignore that kind of problem. Push it away and pretend it's not really there. But it is there. Ignoring it doesn't make it go away. Having people that toxic, that horrible, self-centered, and this is not just the, you know, abusers, but other kinds of abusers as well. This toxic, narcissistic, self-serving, drama-avoiding mentality only festers if you ignore it. It grows, it consumes, and then it destroys. Like the fucking cancer it is. I got a little heated in this one, and I am kind of sorry about that. But, um, I'm not sorry about the things I said. I am aware that videos like this one and some of the others have made several people who are furries and bronies alike probably think that I'm some kind of horrible monster. That I'm the kind of asshole that they just cannot stand. And if that is the case, if that is your mentality, if you think that I'm terrible for calling out the horrible things that have happened in these communities, you're not the kind of person I want to appeal to anyway. I don't need horrible people in my life. I have more than enough wonderful people, and they deserve good things too. Not this. Not what happened to my friend here. And definitely not the shit that I've seen before this. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you're having a wonderful whatever time of day it is, and I'm aware this one got a little out there, so yeah. Sorry about that. Also not sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Whatever. I love you, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye!